Hey, what's up, guys? Looking for me, Marvels here. Gonna do a quick video on using the uh, valve stall and the weapon shield. Went to the indoor range yesterday, shot the shit out of the Glock 27. So I figured no better time than the present to uh, try out this valve stall and clean it up. So, what we're first, we're gonna do is we're gonna break down the gun. Trigger's already to the rear, so all I gotta do is pull back. Simple as that. And then uh, I'll let you guys check out the barrel. That thing is filthy. So we're going to see how good that this uh, valve stall really works. Because I usually use like Hops Elite and stuff like that. So we're going to give it a try with this. Now I do have some Hops Elite here. Also got just a couple drops of Militech and the weapon shield. But we're going to try the weapon shield today. This stuff looks like it's pretty good. I'm starting to see it at all the uh, gun stores and stuff like that. So I guess it's becoming popular. Got a flashlight so we can look at everything. Make sure we're cleaning it all up. So first things first, we're going to spray some of this in the barrel. As you can see, I think it's filthy. So we're going to put some down in there. Let that sit for a minute. Put some on it. This is the first time I'm using this stuff, so we're going to see how it works. I've seen a few videos on it of people using it. Looks like it works pretty well. So, first things first, we got a nylon brush. Going to uh, just brush out the uh, slide and stuff just to try to get all this debris out before I start cleaning it or wiping it out things like that because I don't want to smash all that stuff in there so that's real important and then you just don't want to get none of that debris in the fire and pin channel or anything like that so real quick I just wipe it off like that do the same thing with the frame just to get all the debris off and then I'll go ahead and hit it with some valve stall Let's hit this a little bit here. We'll see if it takes off the crayon. I usually uh, don't have no problems with that. The stuff is, uh, it really doesn't stink or anything. So that's a good thing. It really ain't fumes. Because like on the regular hops, everybody knows what that's like. That's why they call it hops. Take the nylon brush now. And just go over the slide real good. Get all that debris. Rub that valve stall in. And uh, see how it works. How it breaks it down and stuff. It's really taking it all off. I just like to let it soak for a little bit. And then we'll also hit this here a little bit. Maybe a little bit of this. I just don't have a cleaning bit on my channel. Figured I'd do one. And I got all this stuff. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I got some rags here. I'm gonna just wipe off this barrel here. I polished a barrel of this a while ago. So and it's been holding up pretty good. No problems. A lot of people ask me, well. Does the uh, crayon come out of the slide when you when you shoot it? Does it melt out? It's still in there, as you can see. It doesn't go nowhere. And if so, if you got to touch it up, keep one of these in your cleaning kit. There we go. That getting stuck on stupid again. But you'll have that. And just want to hit this with some more ballast stall. Good stuff right there. Alright, we're gonna just uh take this off, take the brush off, and we're just gonna run 
a couple straight patches through. So it's pretty clean, as you can see. It's a little bit on, but not much. So we're gonna call that done. So as you can see, guys, that's what the ballast stall does right there. There you go. I catch it right there. That's what you want. So, now we're going to oil it up, we're going to use the weapon shield. Comes in a little, I guess you want to call, syringe here. Take that blue cap off. So that's pretty nice because it gives you good precision. You know, you ain't just putting it all over the place. So here we go. This is three, two, one. Three, two. Two, one. So we're going to take it and put a drop hair on the rail. Drop hair on this rail. We're going to let that run down. And then it'll start to puddle down here. And you'll just want to get that excess off of there. But it takes a couple seconds for it to run down. So then this way... It all goes down to the bottom and your rails are nice and oiled. So it's one, two, and then right here. I can't see it on camera. There we go. Right there. You can see where that's at. Put one drop right there. You just put it on your finger, whatever. So this is done. Now we're on to the barrel. Right here, between the lugs, the locking lugs right there, we're going to put a drop right there. So this is really nice. A great applicator. Fits right in there. Give it a little squeeze. You get your drop. And then what you're going to do is you're going to flip it over and you're going to put a a drop right here because this is where it hits the slide barrel is still blued that's how you get that smiley face and stuff because it's you know it's going off the slide so just somewhat your finger right there and there you go that's two so three two and then we're going to do the frame so then what you're going to do here is this lip right here Right there. You want to put a drop right underneath that. That's good. That completes the lubrication part of it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go with the reassembly. So take your barrel, put it back in your slide, take your recoil spring. that back in place make sure it's in put your frame back on the slide do a function test over here is in a safe direction for me and there you have it and then what I usually do is I got a uh, Winchester cleaning cloth it's a wax cloth it's pretty big you can cut it down whatever size you want and I just take that and I'll just go over everything with that like that it takes all the fingerprints off of it it gives it a little protection too kind of repels stuff off of it and stuff and then there you go and again look the crayons not compromised at all and if it is all you want to do is just touch it up so I really like the bow stall I really like the weapon shield I really think it works well the weapon shield works but well I really like the applicator on it so that's gonna wrap it up guys just looking for me marbles 
and I'm out.